we are getting ready to start proofs again with similar triangles. So remember when we did congruent triangles, we had angle side angle, um, side side side, side angle side, HL, and all those um, theorems and statements that allowed us to prove triangles were congruent. Well, similarity is a little easier because there's only three. So we're going to go through these real quick, and I love this um, in your notes because it has everything in one place. Angle angle similarity, side 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 similarity, and side angle side similarity. So we already know that similar polygons have congruent um, angles and proportional sides. So we're just going to use that knowledge and we'll walk through this together. So angle angle means that if two, if two, correspondings, uh, two corresponding angles of one triangle are corresponding to the other triangle, then we know that those two triangles are congruent. So let's take a look. If this angle is 75 and D is 75, C is 31 degrees and F is 31 degrees, are they similar? Yes, because those two angles are congruent. So now I can make my big daddy statement and say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle, now remember order is important, I go from 75 degrees to the empty measurement, 75D to E and then to F. So remember that order is very, very important. Look on number two. Can I say that these triangles are similar to each other? I can because the information here I know right away those are vertical angles. And when you have vertical angles, now it makes these two, these two angles congruent to these two angles, which means I can make a statement. So watch my similarity statement. If I say triangle XWV is congruent to triangle, now I went from X to W, so there's no um, two tick marks to no tick marks. So I'm going to go from X to Z, two tick marks to no tick marks and then Z to Y, so Z to Y, because W, V went from no tick marks to one and no tick marks to one. So that ordering, same way we did with congruency, that order matters. So that's angle, angle similarity. Side, side, side similarity says all corresponding um, sides are proportional, just like we've already done. So here's the deal, don't get lazy. You have to test that all three sides are proportional. So if you look at this, um, is 3 proportional to 6? Is 4 proportional to 8? Is 5 proportional to 10? So I can reduce all of these to 1 half, 1 half, 1 half. They all reduce to a scale factor of 1 half, so yes, these are proportional. Let's look over here. I go from the small side, which is 30, small side is 24. I go from the small side of 32, or the medium side of 32, to the medium side of 25, small side of 35, or large side, excuse me, um, to 28. So two ways I could do this. I could reduce them to the same, um, to the same fraction, or I could get the aspect ratio. And sometimes for me, when I'm dealing with larger numbers, I'm just going to find the aspect ratio. And all that means is I can use my calculator and divide. So watch what I'm going to divide here. I'm going to divide, if I can find my calculator. I am simply going to type in 30 divided by 24. And I get 1.25. That's the aspect ratio. It just means you're finding the decimal form. And I'm going to divide 32 divided by 25. And I get 1.28 and 35 divided by 28, and I get 1.25. These are the same, but this is not. So these are not, they are not similar because not all sides are proportional, okay? Um, and then let's look at our last one, is we have side angle side. So again, if you know that two corresponding sides are proportional, and you know that included angle, remember it has to be included, that's that A in between the sides, if this, congruent, if this angle is congruent and these sides are proportional, then yes, we can make a similarity statement. So let's test it. Is 8 and 6 proportional to 20 over 15? So 8 divided by 6, again, I know you could easily look at this. 8 divided by 6 is 1.3 repeating, and 20 divided by 15 is 1.3 repeating. So my sides are proportional and my angles are congruent. So yes, I can make a proportional statement 
And remember, if I said triangle KJL is going to be similar, so I'm going from 1 to 0, 1 to 0, so NMP. That order does matter. Okay, so that I can because I tested it and it meets the criteria. All right, let's look at number six. So I'm going from, um, a, this angle is equal, whether it's triangle DAE or triangle BAC, that angle is the same. So I know my angles are congruent, but let's check out my proportions. Is 25 proportional to 15, large to small, and is 21 proportional to 12, large to small? So 25 divided by 15 is 1.6 repeating, and 21 divided by 12 is 1.75. These are not proportional, therefore I cannot make a similarity statement. Okay? So that's just in a real quick worksheet how all those triangle similarities work.